According to a report by online blog WA Beta Info, WhatsApp is testing a feature that will allow users to migrate chat history between Android and iOS devices. This feature has long been requested by users as the only solutions to achieve this thus far were third-party apps that WhatsApp has said violate its terms of service. This comes along with WhatsApp's planned multi-device functionality which may allow use of a desktop client without needing to connect to a mobile phone. However, the timeline of the rollout of this feature is currently unknown. The Oppo F19 base model has been launched in India as the entry-level phone in the series alongside the previously launched Oppo F19 Pro and Oppo F19 Pro Plus. Powered by the Snapdragon 662 SoC, the phone features a 6.43-inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display. The Oppo F19 offers a triple rear camera setup with a 48-megapixel primary shooter and a 16-megapixel front camera. Keeping the lights on is a 5000mAh battery with 33W fast charging support. The Oppo F19 is priced at Rs 18,990 for the sole 6GB RAM and 128GB storage variant and will be available through all major online and offline channels from April 9th. The Poco X3 Pro has gone on sale in India. Powered by the Snapdragon 860 SoC and an Adreno 640 GPU, the phone features a 6.67-inch Full HD Plus 120Hz IPS display with a 240Hz touch sampling rate. The phone offers a quad rear camera setup with a 48 megapixel primary shooter and a 20 megapixel front camera. The Poco X3 Pro offers up to 8 GB of RAM and 256 GB of UFS 3.1 storage. Keeping the lights on is a 5160 mAh battery with 33 watt fast charging support. Pricing starts at Rs 18,999 for the 6 GB RAM and 128 GB storage model and goes up to Rs 20,999 for the 8 GB RAM and 128 GB storage model. The base Redmi Note 10 has gone on sale in India, with prices starting at Rs 11,999 for the base 4GB RAM and 64GB storage model. It features a 6.43-inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display and is powered by a Snapdragon 678 chipset coupled with an Adreno 612 GPU. Keeping the lights on is a 5000mAh battery with 33 watt fast charging support. The phone features a 48 megapixel quad rear camera setup and a 13 megapixel front facing camera. The Redmi Note 10 is available to purchase across Mi.com, Amazon.in, and Mi retail stores. Samsung has announced a slate of offers on the recently launched Galaxy A32. While the Galaxy A32 retails at Rs 21,999, customers who want to exchange an old phone can get an extra benefit of Rs 3,000 on the value of their device. Buyers can also avail a Rs 2,000 cashback with HDFC debit and credit cards or a Rs 1,500 cashback using Zest Money. The Galaxy A32 offers a 6.4-inch 90Hz AMOLED display, a MediaTek Helio G80 SoC and a quad rear camera setup with a 64MP main shooter. Samsung has also reduced the price of its predecessor, the Galaxy A31, by Rs1,000, making it available for Rs 16,999. The Samsung Galaxy F41 has begun receiving the Android 11-based One UI 3.1 update in India. The update, which is over 1 GB in size, also brings the March 2021 Android security patch along with improvements to the camera, device performance and stability. The Galaxy F41 features a 6.4-inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display and runs on the Exynos 9611 chip with 6 GB of RAM and up to 128 GB of storage. There's a 64 megapixel triple camera setup on the back and a 32 megapixel selfie unit. The F41 gets a 6000 mAh battery with 15 watt fast charging. iRobot has launched the Roomba i3 and Roomba i3 Plus robotic vacuum cleaners in India. The Roomba i3 Plus features a durable, woven texture design and an automatic dirt disposal system, through which the robot empties any dirt collected in bags that are placed inside the docking station. iRobot claims that the Roomba i3 Plus can empty 60 days' worth of dust and dirt into the clean base docking station. The Roomba i3 Plus retails for Rs 69,990, while the base Roomba i3 is priced at Rs 49,990 without the automatic dirt disposal docking station. 